Okay guys, so I'm just waiting a few minutes, well, just a few seconds for this stream to go live. Alright, just waiting just a bit guys. And we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're done waiting. Alright guys, welcome to Cyber Dream Developers and today we are going to be continuing our fitness and exercise affiliate website WordPress tutorial. That's a mouthful. All right, guys, so we're, we're working on an affiliate website. It's a tutorial on how to get your own affiliate website. Basically, what we've done so far is we've put together the basic structure of our affiliate. And the backstory is because we have a backstory. Every business has a backstory. The backstory is that we have a gym. We wanted to get some more customers into the gym. So we created a few blog posts. They took off. And we have a bit of extra traffic on the website which also generated traffic to the gym. So what we've done is we've gone ahead and monetized our blogs, our blog posts, and now, you know, they're taking a little bit of revenue for us. So because they're taking a bit of revenue for us, we've gone ahead, let me just get this out of the way. We've gone ahead and we've set up an affiliate website where we're more also into, um, <clears throat> where we're also generating not only leads for our business, but we're also generating um, commission on affiliate products. Now some products are sold in store or at the gym, their locations and others are just companies where affiliate marketers for. So that's about the, the back story behind our website. Now I am Jabez Roberts. I am an entrepreneur because I own a lot of businesses. I have more businesses than I have friends. Whoop whoop. <laughs> and we're going to be working on building a website. Now, at CyberDream Developers, we post videos at least five times daily. And between now, which is November, and the end of the year, we're going to be posting two videos most days. And these videos are going to cover a wide range of topics from building a website, designing your website, uh, marketing strategy, how to get better conversions, how to get sales and clients from your websites, how to audit your websites, best tools for your website, website, website. And we're also focused on the marketing aspect of your business. So it's not so much just a website building. It's more of a marketing and business management channel. All right. So we've looked at all that. In the previous episodes, we've started to build and all of that. So let's just look at the website right now. So this is what we've had, what we did last episode. We did some blog posts. I was part of what we did, right? And I used um, Cupcake Ipsum to create these posts. Now these are dummy posts, they don't look like much. Matter of fact, the blog page doesn't look like much, but with Elementor Pro, we can actually design this blog page, all right? So we're not gonna get too caught up in how the blog page looks right now because we're trying to get you guys going, so we're gonna be using as many free stuff as we can. All right now, so like I said, the files for this website will be available in the link in the description below. If you host with Light Phoenix or Aurora Cloud WS, then you get 50% of the price for the website template. If you also have website security from Digital Pixie, you get 50% of the price for the website template. Now, those are companies that I own, so that's just all I want from you guys. Get hosting and website security from me and like the video. You can subscribe for more because I'm going to be building a lot of websites between now and the end of the year. I'm trying to do three websites each week, all right? So what we're doing today is we're creating affiliate links for our website and affiliate products, all right? So I'm going to start by saying that we've looked at the contact page. We're on the blog page. We've done the about page. On the blog page, we're doing a bit of work right now. We're not going to go to the rest of the website, guys. On the blog page, we're doing a bit of work right now where we're going to be working on these posts. These posts are going to be affiliate posts. Now, we're just going to add like five links to affiliate products in each um, post, you know, just to get an idea of how to add affiliate links. And these are all dummy posts, guys. So it's not like they're going to be um, easily readable, but I will help you to understand how to make it easily, easily readable. All right, now, so let me just close this. And let me close that. All right, now, guys. What I want you guys to do for me is go to the dashboard, all right, and go to posts. It's on the left hand right here, all posts. All right, guys. <clears throat> so we're going to be working on this post first. Going to click edit. 
I want to edit the post. Alright guys, so here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be adding, we're supposing right now, this is an affiliate um, website, but it can work for any business that you're doing really. It could be for um, a vegetarian, it could be for a restaurant, it could be basically anything. What's, what makes money in affiliate? I think finance, the financial financial industry makes a lot of money in this in this in affiliate websites, so like selling insurance and the like. It could be for that as well, right? So for now, we're just using the use case of a gym. We're gonna say that this post is about some gym specific um, topic. For example, it says weight loss. So we're gonna say this is on intermittent fasting ideas, how to get through intermittent fasting without starving, all right? And then this is a subheading. This is a picture to pique your curiosity and entertain you just a bit to get you interacting with the page just a bit. Not to have just a whole lot of words because nobody's gonna read that. It's the introductory text, some headings, another picture, heading, content, heading, subheading, content, subheading, content, conclusion, pictures, da da da. Okay, so here's what we're gonna be doing. We need to have different words I remember we're supposing now, but to make this easier for you guys, I'm just going to get a, an actual um, blog post. So I'm just going to go to the Cyber Dream Developers website. All right, we have a blog here. All right, it doesn't have affiliate links, but it will do what we need it to do. So I'm just head over to the blog. And we're redesigning this website right now. Guys, we're redesigning this website. So what you're going to realize happen is that depending on when you go to this website, it might look, it's most likely going to look a bit different because we're also going to be working on a blog page. All right. So we have a few blog posts here. Now, what we're going to be doing is we are going to, I'm actually going to work on this post. All right, guys. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be explaining how to add affiliate links. So let's say you come here, 14 powerful Facebook business optimization business page optimizations and by the way there's a free ebook we've changed it all right so if you go to the home page you'll see this will be updated as well so you can get a free ebook on how to get more customers from your website and more clients from your website all right it says the heading the introduction this is the introductory text notice it's in italics there's a table of contents and there's a lot of information there's some content yada yada all right now so we're going to say that this post is exactly what we want to create an affiliate link for. What we're going to do is we're going to say, for example, um, we can go ahead and read this. By creating a Facebook page for your business, you're able to rent, not own, a piece of the Internet's real estate. All right. You can claim it as your own plot of digital land upon which you can build a business empire of any size. And that is true. Instead of saying the cost free, we could say... To get your own Facebook um, page optimized, click here or go to company name to get your own Facebook page optimized. So here's what we're going to have this look like, right? I'm going back to our actual website. This is the post, right? I'm going to add a line. Actually, I'm just going to take the line from here just to make it a little bit easier for you to follow. We're going to copy. All right. And the idea is that you want to make it easy for your viewers to read so we're going to add a paragraph i'm just going to paste this in paragraph it says okay so by creating a facebook page for your business you are able to rent not own a piece of the internet's real estate you can claim it as your own plot of land of digital land upon which you can build a business empire of any size all right so now we're going to say to claim to get an optimized I think I spell it yes I spell it correct optimize Facebook page for your business you may contact you may use a company like cyber dream developers or I'm gonna say digital pixie Digital Pixie website security who both offer free Facebook page optimizations. All right, so that's what that's about, right? Now, so here's what we're going to do we're going to look at CyberDream developers, we're going to highlight this text, we're going to click on this to insert a link. 
Now, when you sign up for Cyber Dream Developers, well, well, not Cyber Dream Developers, but when you sign up for an affiliate program with a company, they're going to give you an affiliate link. All right, guys, it's going to be something with ref. Up here, it's going to say ref equal ID, ref ID equal question mark, something, something, something. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to paste that URL here. I'm just going to suppose, we're just supposing that this is the link for that URL. All right, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to paste it here. We want to open a new, oh wait, enter. Actually, we're going to want to open in a new tab because when we open in a new tab, what that's going to do for us is it's going to not take people from our website. It's going to keep them on our website. It's going to open this affiliate link in a new tab and the visitors will still be on our website. Awesome. We're going to also add a different affiliate link here just for another product. But what I'm doing is I'm just keeping it the same, right? I'm just keeping the same link because this is just an example. And I'm assuming that you guys know how to do all of this, right? And that is that. All right. So we have two affiliate links in our page. Okay, I don't like that it's not showing without hovering. I don't like that. I think maybe it's a setting in the actual website. Now, so what we have to look at now is that in this article, we've given them valuable information. Remember our topic was um, how to get through intermittent fasting without starving. And we've given them a few hints and tips. And in the few hints and tips, we've linked them to affiliate companies that will help them to solve their problem. Companies that offer a genuine solution. All right, another way that we can go ahead and put affiliate links in our website is we can go right here. We can click on the image. So we can have an image of a solution. Images are worth a thousand words, right? Our pictures are worth a thousand words. So we're gonna have an image of the solution. And we're gonna say that, um, this is. let's just change this image for now, guys. I'm just gonna change this for now. I'm just gonna change it for now. And I'm going to put a smoothie. All right, and the smoothie is green smoothie, wonderful. So it's a green drink. All right, guys, and the idea behind this one is that we're saying that to get through intermittent fasting, you might want to drink green juice. All right, now we're going to link them to one of the top green juice suppliers in the country. And this is, these are our three favorite, these are our three favorite, favorite, I don't know I'm getting tongue twister. These are our three favorite green juice flavors to give us an extra punch. Now we're gonna just say that the green juice doesn't break your intermittent fasting. So when you're getting a bit hungry, you can get the drink the green juice and you're adding some nutrients and all that. It does, it's not it's not accurate information, yet. it's just an example. So this is gonna be for green juice flavor one. Let me actually use a different link. Actually, I'm gonna to go to the home page so you guys can see the actual free ebook to help you. All right, it's all the way down here, guys. It's all the way here, this free ebook, your website's conversion mistakes. So I'm gonna say that this is the link to the free, um, to the green juice that we like. We're gonna go here. We're gonna add a link to this. All right, guys? So let me see if I can find the link because I haven't used Gutenberg often. Um, I think because it's a gallery, I can't add I can't add, right? Can I? Let me edit this. No, I'm not going to go the HTML route. I'm not going to HTML route. I'm thinking that I might not be able. I might not be able to. Wait. Just a second, guys. um right here this is the url all right so that's not the url i want what i want is i want to add a url to the actual image i don't think this is the actual url that i want guys i don't think that's it let me just update this i'm th what i'm thinking because it's a gallery that's here it's not gonna work so if not, what I'm going to go ahead and do right now, all right, so you see the link is right there. That, that's not what we want. All right, so I'm just go ahead and nope, that is not what we want. All right, 
So I'm just going to leave that. What I'm doing right, wait, come on, don't do that. What I'm doing is I'm just going to add an actual image because I don't use Gutenberg very often. I'm going to insert after. I'm going to add an actual image. All right, guys. Now this image I'm going to add from the media library. Add it right here. All right, do that. And now I go like that and I insert the URL, go right there, go right there, and that is that. All right. So the URL is outside of the image. I don't like that at all, at all. But I think it's fine as it is for now. I'm going to have to find a better way to add URLs. Oh, there it is. There it is. So you click on the image. And this option comes up for you to insert link. You insert the link right here. You click here for it to open a new tab. This can be no follow because you don't want to always pass off your link juice. All right. And that's that. And that's you. You actually added the URL. Now, I don't like using Gutenberg, but it's whatever. If I were using HTML, it would have been a little bit easier. I just need to add an H um, relative tag and anchor tag, but no, no. So I'm going to keep this as it is right here, right? Now, if you click on the image, if we update it and we're actually reading it, you post, wait, the post should be open somewhere else, but it's not opening. Let me just update it again. New post. All right, so it's loading, guys. Let's just ensure that the link was input in our post properly. All right, guys. Um, and there we go. All right, now, so the link is right here. We can remove that, but you notice the mouse changes when we click here. So I'm just going to open incognito. It should take us to cyberdreamdevelopers.com. All right, it's there. I don't want to improve my bounce or increase my bounce rate. So I'm going to go somewhere else, get started, just because. I don't want to increase my own bone rate. Alright, okay, so that's that. Now, what we have to realize happened here is that, let me try by the way. See, it's not inside this one because it's an image. I'm just going ahead and edit post. It's a gallery, so it's not it's not there. Um, what I want to, you guys to realize is that when you're creating your posts, and it would have been wonderful if I was using an actual post, I'm thinking maybe I could use one from the actual Cyber Gym Developers website blog. I, I could do that. Let me just head over to the blog. Um, the blog. So what we have to realize happen is that when you're creating your post, you need it to be entertaining. Too many words, people won't read. You need a lot of headings. You need images. The better example is the actual Cyber Dream Developers website. Let's just look at the Facebook Pixel um, blog post. This is like 7,000 words, guys. And if you look, it says an 18-minute read time. That is a good feature you can add. If you if you want to know how to do this, I can show you how to do it. Well, I won't do it for this actual blog post because remember, this actual website. All right, there's a read meter right here so you can tell how far down you are in the post. The important thing is you have your table of contents, all right, so people know where to go. They've been working and now they're at Facebook conversion events. They click and they go right there. They have an image right here that helps them to know what it should look like at the time. And, you know, you can continue. So you need to have images. You need to have wonderful um, headings that makes reading easier. You can add bowls and italics and the like to make scrolling through your website. This is a, a list. This is excellent for user, user experience. This is an image, <laughs> believe it or not, guys, from the Facebook ad, ad interface, basically, um, as builder. And what you're looking at here is that it's not so much that you're getting information out there. It's, it's wonderful if you have good information. Guys. It's really awesome if you have good information, if people like what you're doing. But at first, and this is the hard part, at first you're going to realize that you need to make things easier for your, cost, for your reviewers to read because when they come to your website, if they see like seven paragraphs, and you notice each paragraph has like three or four lines, this has four, and that's a lot. If they have like eight to ten lines per paragraph, like in school, it's going to be tough. Because, I mean, look at this. One sentence, one, two sentences, 
two sentences or is this one? This is one sentence, one sentence. You keep working like this because you want to make it easy for your viewers to read your blog post. Now, just something to highlight while I was down here. When you look at this post, you see this highlighted. This is a link to a different part of the website. This is a link to a different part of the website. If you scroll, you're going to find more links in the different parts of the website that's leading to different parts of the website, including different blog posts and the like. And that's how you're going to be blogging. This is more like blogging mastery uh, instead of actual affiliate tutorial. But you get it, guys. So you have your blog post. <coughs> you have your affiliate link. You have tech um, strategically placed your affiliate link inside your blog post. Also ensure that whenever you have your blog post and you input your affiliate link, ensure that the blog post and the affiliate link are, they're talking about the same thing basically and they flow nicely. Don't just drop the affiliate link in there just because you want people to click on it. It's That's going to let them leave and never return. They're going to know you for the wrong thing, right? And you also want to ensure that whenever you place your affiliate links, the, the language that you use, all right? So let me show you something. <clears throat> so if you look right here, it says, to get started with your Facebook ad account, we recommend that you follow this detailed Facebook ads manager guide that we have created just for you. That really is wonderful. I'm like, oh, you created that for me? Click, and it takes you to a different, well, a different tab, but it's the same website with a different post, all right? And this is helping you on your journey with Facebook. And you can see different links scattered all around. Now, what you want to do is, what I'm trying to point out here as well, is you want to ensure that whenever you have this with your actual link, it's something that help you, that's helping. Now, you to start your Facebook ad account, you need a Facebook page, right? And by the way, you guys can use this for your own blog and for your affiliate website. So it's not so much far out of the realm of what we're doing here. You're going to need a Facebook ad account, but to get a Facebook ad account, you need a Facebook page. And that is why we've gone right here and shown you a guide on how to get your own Facebook page. That's what it is, right? Facebook page. Is that it? Um, Facebook Ads Manager. Now, what you're going to realize happened is that by doing this, you don't have 30 affiliate links in your website. You might have five, you might have seven, but the five or the seven or even the two or three that you have, they're received so well that users feel, viewers feel that you care about them, and trust me, you should, and they feel like you have their best interest at heart. No, 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 no. That is one way to create your affiliate um, links. What you might want to have is an affiliate product. All right, now if you have an affiliate product, what you're going to have is something like an e-commerce store, and it's going to lead to the affiliate website. All right, guys, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at an e-commerce store that I've built. I actually own that web that, that, that company because, like I said, I'm an entrepreneur. All right, so let's just go over to Expressive Keys. I should go to .com, .com ExpressiveTees.com. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this as our affiliate company. Now, lucky for us, all right, so I'm just sure why not alone alone all right now lucky for us what we're going to realize happen is that this website that we have right here actually has fitness clothes in the, in the tops and in the bottoms all right so i'm just going to go to joggers joggers we're going to find some joggers here here's one all right um i was going to click on this and we're going to say that this is the affiliate website and this right here is the affiliate link. So let's just go ahead and copy this. All right. And this is our affiliate link. This is our affiliate product. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to recreate this on our website. All right. And instead of having it on our website, it's going to have a link to this website. And it's going to be created as an affiliate product on our website. And just ensure, yes, we have enough time to do that. The battery is going down. Let us plug in. All right. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to set up e-commerce on our affiliate website now. So let's just head over to our affiliate website. All right. So I don't need incognito. We're going back to dashboard. So we know how to create blog posts. We know how to add affiliate links to our blog posts. Now we're going to create affiliate products. We're going to add e-commerce to our website. To add e-commerce, we go to plugins. We go to add new. I I know this might be a little bit daunting, but it's quite easy. 
To add e-commerce to your WordPress website, you type WooCommerce in the plugin section. All right, this is this is enough. We'll, we'll see. That's enough to get it. All right, and that is not enough to get it. <laughs> Interesting. WooCommerce. All right. WooCommerce. Here it is. Five million installs. This is the one right here by Automatic. And they're the same ones who, who own WordPress, in a sense. WordPress is open source, but they created WordPress, basically. So you just go ahead and install. And while WooCommerce is installing, we're just going to wait because I've been talking for a while. <laughs> All right, so let's just wait a bit for WooCommerce to get installed, guys. And we're waiting. And we are waiting. Oh boy. So here's what we're going to be doing, guys, because this is taking a while. This is a local website, by the way. It's not on Light Phoenix or Aurora Cloud. This is an actual local website. So it's running from my system. So it's a little bit slow. Um, after we install WooCommerce, we're going to go ahead and activate it. There's going to come up a button that says Activate. We're going to activate WooCommerce. I'm going to show you how to do the basic setup. You know, there's a step-by-step um, -step guide on setting up WooCommerce. We are going to set up WooCommerce. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create some categories for our products. Now, remember, we are a gym. We needed some more visitors. We need some more users in the gym on a monthly basis. So we started blogging just a bit, just to get the word out there that we know how to help you get where you need to be. The blog took off. We have a few um, users at the gym that want us to help them to get products that will help them in their workouts and exercise. So they need like exercise gloves, they need joggers, they need, um, what is this product that I have right here? I don't remember what it is. Yes, it's a jogger. Leggings, they also need leggings. I think leggings are here as well. Buttons, leggings, leggings. All right, so they need leggings as well. They need joggers, they need actual gloves for lifting heavy weights. They might need some Gatorade, some water, a water bottle, for example. They might need um, protein powder, which is awesome, right? So we're providing our visitors at our gym with the products that they need to help improve their experience at our gym. And what we've done is we've gone ahead and sold a few of these products on our website, which is our blog that took off. And we've also linked the products that are affiliates. All right, so we're not going to buy 100 joggers or 100 um, sweaters and keep them inside, or 100 exercise shoes, for example, and keep them in our gym and hope that they get sold. Not at all, because we're not selling these stuff. We're just offering them to our, to our customers, to our users, to our members, to help them have a better experience while using our gym. So what we're going to do is we're going to have an affiliate um relationship with companies that offer these products. So Expressive Tees is a company that I own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Expressive Tees right here as an example of an affiliate company. And this affiliate company, they sell joggers and they sell leggings. All right. So we're going to have these joggers and leggings posted to our website right here. And when you're posted to our website, our users from our gym can go to our website because they know so it's a lot easier to sell to someone who knows you. They're going to go to our website and they're going to go ahead and they're going to purchase their joggers and your gym, um, gym, I want to say miscellaneous items, right? They're going to purchase their gym miscellaneous items on our website from us. We don't need to sh um, ship. We don't need to start inventory. We don't need to oversee the sale. All we need to do is have the link on our website and we get a commission. All right, so this is installed. We're going to go ahead and activate. It is activating. After it's activated, we are going to go through the step-by-step -step guide and we're going to set up WooCommerce. All right, guys? So let's just wait a bit. So WooCommerce is activated. We're going to go to the setup. So the address, you know to enter your own address and country and city. I'm just going to use a business address. I'm going to enter Jamaica, Jamaica, because I'm from Jamaica, if you haven't noticed the accent. If you're setting up for a client, you click this, but yeah, sure, I'm setting up for a client. I'm not, but whatever. All right, no, I don't want 
in at all. All right, so we're going to continue. Oh, okay. So it says, in which industry does a store operate? You can choose your industry from here. I'm thinking that mine is health and beauty because it's a gym, is it? I don't know. Let's just hope. Health and beauty. Um, we sell physical products, all right? And these are affiliate products, all right, guys? So we're going to go ahead and continue. Now we say, how many products do you plan to display? Just about 20 there, but we're not creating 20 products now, but let's say 20. Currently sell anywhere, elsewhere, no, no, no. We're only selling right here and on our store. Yes, on another platform and at physical stores and our events now. Yeah, so we sell on physical store and events. Annual revenue, I'm just getting started. So it says market on Facebook, contact, blah, blah. So we don't need AdSense. We don't need this and we don't need this because this is not so much an e-commerce tutorial. The e-commerce tutorial is coming this week, guys. It's going to have a ton of marketing information. So you can go ahead and check out our website and our YouTube channel for the tutorial on how to actually set up all these stuff because it's going to be a part of the e-commerce website. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and continue. All right, guys. Now... I'm going to continue with my active theme. I don't know why I would change it. That's the Astro theme that we've been using. I don't want Jetpack at all. No, not at all. I've never used Jetpack. I've never had a good, heard a good review about Jetpack, even though it's so popular. All right. Welcome to your WooCommerce stores online HQ. Here's where you'll find setup suggestions, tips and tools, and key data on your store's performance and earnings. You guys can read. All right. Next. Personal inbox full of events, advice, um, good data. All right. So here we are. All right, guys. We are right here. We are right here. We are right here. So we have everything that we need. Now, it says finish set up. You add products, set up payment, set up tax, set up shipping, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my. That's a lot. That's a lot, right? It's not really because we are only going to set up products and that's it. We don't need tax. We don't need shipping. We don't need to per well, we can personalize our store and we don't need payments because we're not the ones selling the products. We don't hold the products, right? So we're going to go over to WooCommerce. Actually, the products. Where's products? Products is right here. We're going to go to categories. Click on categories. All right, guys. Now, we're just going to say the name of the first category is joggers, the slug, joggers, I'm just going to add seven categories, you know, just for fun, and add new category. We're going to add leggings, because these are two products I'm going to be creating. Leggings, and add new category. Then now we're going to be creating um, um, towels, towels, and that's that. Now we're going to add um, protein powder. That is not how you spell protein. Add uh, before E, except after C. Uh -uh. <laughs> protein powder. All right. So, protein powder. Okay. That's not spelled correctly, is it? Is that it? Yep. A new category and we have how many one two three we're gonna have um meal prep no meal prep wouldn't be an actual store category would it no we're gonna say workout shoes and that's not an actual thing is it i know you have exercise shoes but i don't know about workout shoes all the working out and exercise a little bit of the same all right and we're gonna have gym Equipment. I don't know what's going to be there, but it's whatever. We're just creating categories. All right. So we have about seven categories right now. And what we need to do is I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to add products in these categories straight away. So we're just going to add new. All right. So let's see the first product we're working on. We're going to be working on these men's leggings, purple. All right, guys. This is going to be the affiliate link. So we're going to have affiliate links for these products, guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy. Actually, I need the title. No, I'm just going to tab the title. So I'll just copy that. All right. Product name. Men's. I'm just going to say purple. Men's leggings. Leggings. This is a short description. 
Actually, this is a long description. It's a short description. So I'm going to show you where those go. So right now, we're not going to say simple product at all. External or affiliate product. That's what we're saying. This is a product URL. All right. And this is going to say get product. Actually, I'm just going to say buy now. That's a little bit more urgent. Buy now. And let's get the price from here. $49.53. Um, we're going to just say $50 just for ease of use. Okay. All right. So that's the product right there. Um, I'm going to grab, I've pasted that. So I'm just going to grab the long and short description for you guys. So the... This is the long description, isn't it? Yes. And this right here, actually there is no short description for this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the long description. All right. I'm going to paste the long description here. I'm going to paste this part from the short description right here for the, for the short description. That is cover stitch. Okay. Leave it alone. All right. Now, um, the inventory, I don't need to manage inventory because what? I'm not working. Okay, um, it's a leggings, right? So you're going to add the category leggings, all right? Um, linked products, we can add a linked product. For example, if we already had uh, exercise shoe, you could type red exercise shoe right here. And the exercise shoe would come up and you could buy a legging and an exercise shoe. So I would recommend that the user or the purchaser or the customer gets an exercise shoe, but we only have one product so far, so not yet. Attributes. Now, attributes, and you can go to advanced, and you'll also see something else, right? But we're not going to look right there just yet. Attributes. Now, attributes is basically this that you see right here. So the size, all right, so the price for XS or extra small is $49.95, all right? And if you go to large, the price... It's still $49.95. Interesting. Let's go to XXL. 3XL. If we go to 3XL, the price is $53.95. And that is why we have attributes right here. Because we can add um, we can add an attribute based on size. Alright, guys. So we add the attribute size. Alright, so size. Now for um, the actual values, we're gonna have large actually i'm just gonna have small and we need this um where is it this we need this to separate them all right guys see this one you can't find on your keyboard we're gonna have large and we're gonna have extra large all right we're gonna save these attributes all right when we save these attributes we go to advanced once you go to attribute attributes, they're right here. Yes. Now we go to advanced. And that's fine. And we don't need anything else here. And that is that. Now, the thing about these attributes is that they're going to show. All right. So I'm just saved the attribute. Wait, I've saved them already, right? Um, I'm going to grab um, a photo for this image, for this product. Sorry. I think I have the actual product photo right here so it's a leggings is it um, if I don't find it I'll just use I'll just use something else all right I'm just gonna use something else all right guys so that's not the actual product image but I just want to show you how the attributes come out all right so that's that now we've added a category we can add tags so we're gonna add workout clothes and that's a tag um, I'm just going to keep workout clothes for the only tag. So here's the relationship between a tag and a category. For a category, you can only have one category. The category is like what it is. What it is. So what is this? It's a purple men's, le men's leggings. And how can you describe it? Right? It can be workout clothes. It can be... Um, let's get two more tags that can work for it. Purple. Purple clothes. Alright. Actually, purple clothes is poor. Let's use men clothes. Alright. 
and this could also be um, running plans. It's not actually an actual tag, but whatever. We're just using an example. Now we have running plans, workout clothes, and men's clothes. Men clothes. Now there's only one category at all times for something that's called canonical structure, and there are many tags. So what you always have to remember is that each product has only one category and anything else that would be under category goes in the tag. And the tags and the categories are different things. The tags, the categories tell you exactly which subset it's from or what it is, what exactly it is. But the product tags describe the, um, the actual product a bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this. Now once I publish it, I want to view it. All right, guys. So publish. Wait a bit, and now we view the product. All right. Okay, so this minimalistic design for this website is starting to get to me. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. So now we can buy. Now I'm just gonna go incognito. I can't go incognito. All right, let's click buy now and see what happens. It does take us there, but I wanted to keep me on the website. I wanted to keep me on the website, guys. So I wanted to do the um I can't do it here either. Interesting. So that's something that WooCommerce actually does. So I can open image in new tab, but I can't open link in new tab. Alright, that's sad. Alright, so I'm just gonna go back. Alright, guys. So you can see the short description, you can see the price, you can oh wait, I didn't add anything for the long description. I did. So where is it? So these are different um, sizes that you have. Um, I thought I added a long description. I was sure I did, but it's not. So what we're gonna have to do, guys, is we're gonna have to work on this button. But in order to work on this button, we have to go to customize and work on the global button because that's why this looks this way. And I really don't like this button. But what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to the actual e-commerce website here. We're going to scroll down. Here's a long description that I put in, but it's not showing. And what we're looking at is this is a purple legging, right? And these are related products. All right, guys. Now, for this actual item, I could have said it that once you're buying this, it recommends um, to get you to get a different product. All right, guys. It could recommend that you get um, shoes. Or you get a top because I don't know why this guy doesn't have one on the top, but he doesn't. And it could recommend that you get um, a sweatband, right? So we're not going to work on that just yet because that's more e-commerce. I just wanted to show you how to set up an affiliate, an affiliate product in your actual store. So we're going to add another one. So I'm going to go ahead with this jogger right here. All right. I'm going to go right here. I am going to add new product. So just go to add new. You don't have to click. Just hover and go to product. All right, guys. And let me just grab the actual link because that's the most important thing. And we're right here. I'm going to import the link because what I need for this one is a bigger name. Actually, I'm just going to say gray men's joggers. Sorry. It's going to be a jogger. And the product tag, like we have from before, is just going to be exercise clothes, workout clothes. That's all it is. So when you go to um, workout clothes as a tag, which can be a page, it's going to have both leggings and joggers. All right, but it's not going to have gym equipment because gym equipment is not workout clothes, right? And it could also be men's clothes, men's clothes. All right, so we're going to go to affiliate product. We're going to add the affiliate link. We're going right here for the description. I'm taking the short description this time, right here, wait, come on, come on, you can do it, you haven't done it, all right, there you go, you've done it, um, I'm going to add a short description here, I am going to get a long description, all right guys, this is a long description, if it doesn't show this time, then I'll have to check out why it's not showing, and we're going right here for our long description, we're going to need to add an actual product image. All right, so I'm just going to use this. Um, no, I'll try to find a different. It says jogger, right? This is a jogger. So let's see if there's something for jogger. There is not. 
Okay, there you go, joggers. All right, so great jogger. There we go. And set product image. And uh, that's a jogger. Now, what we can do is we can add product gallery image. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And luckily for us, we actually have the images for this product. We're going to go ahead and click all of them. We're going to open. They're all like that. If you want to remove an item that's going to be added to the store, but it's a part of a gallery and you don't want it in a gallery, you go right here and you click that and it removes it. So you can add it again by clicking on it. Come on. All right, so I messed it up, but I'm just going to add them one by one. Add to gallery. Add to gallery. Add to gallery. And that is, that, this is getting annoying, right? I'm sorry. All right, so that's that. So we have some items in the gallery. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to add a linked product and we're going to say it was a leggings that we just made, right? So purple men's leggings. All right, that's nice. We have attributes. I'm not going to do any custom attributes for this one because I really can't be bothered. And normally when it's not an affiliate product, when you've created the attributes, you go to advanced and you assign values so you can change the price depending on the size, right? But this is an affiliate product. I'm just going to take them to the website. We don't need to go through all of that. We don't need to manage inventory because we're not the one keeping it. We already said which product is linked. We just need to add a price. How could I forget a price? I'm going to say $55. I don't know, but I'm saying that's $55. But it is on sale for 45 and this runs from today schedule come on and today is actually november 9 i don't know when you're watching this november 9 2020 it runs on sale until the end of the month and that is that we are going to go ahead and publish now once we've published this we're going to take a look at our store again all right guys so let's go view product okay so here it is it is on sale that's nice that's nice that's nice the button is a little bit minimal it doesn't grab the attention enough that's the problem guys for e-commerce you want something that grabs the attention calls everyone to tell them what to do buy product all right we have the different images we can do that and we can zoom in all right this looks nice this looks nice all right and then now you may also like uh -huh. ah now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to open i'm going to open the store um i'm going to open in incognito all right paste and go to it's a local website guys it's not dot com it's not local because it's a local website all right now so i'm going to buy a product all right guys and look at what's gonna happen now so it takes me back to the website now on the website what I can do is it's gonna have the different sizes different colors and all of that stuff now I want to find an affiliate link to show you what your is gonna look like for an affiliate link so I'm just gonna say top I'm not gonna to go top here yeah, sure why not one day I hope my companies are in these top hosting lists all right so actually i just need to search how to create a restaurant website i'm pretty sure that's gonna have a link to an to an affiliate host guys i'm guaranteeing you all right um, business.com is gonna need um wix uh, dream host i'm gonna how to create let's go to business.com Ah, see it back. He's a he's a popular guy in the words WordPress WordPress space, guys. He's really awesome. He owns a few popular plugins. He does awesome work. All right, guys. So, um, like that. I'm looking for an affiliate link. Purchase, host, and install WordPress. There we go. So first, you'll need to purchase and set up the website itself. It might seem complicated to build a website, but it's really not. There are, some, there are so many affordable hosting sites and website software options you can use to create a gorgeous website without ever touching code. Good for us. Step one is purchasing your domain and choosing a hosting site. I recommend using WordPress for your site, so you'll need to choose a hosting site that's compatible with it. SiteGround is a great one to go with. All right, so 
Look at this, right? This says SiteGround is a great option to go with. There's a link right there, like I mentioned in your link. It's just helping users to get hosting. So now I don't need to go and wonder which hosting to go with. It even says right here it only costs around $4 per month, which is misleading because that's just a promotional offer. When we click on SiteGround, look what happens. It goes to SiteGround.com, but it doesn't have the affiliate URL. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for affiliate URL, guys. Let me find the theme. Let me find the theme. Close. I'm finding, okay, burger theme. I'm looking for an affiliate URL. And there's not an affiliate URL in this either. It may be there and they've hit it because they can do that and rename the actual. Oh, I know who I can go to. Adam Price, um, WP Crafter. Adam is a good guy, guys. I like Adam, I've learned a lot from him. So go to WP Crafter Home, um, hosting, all right. Now, for hosting, I'm just gonna go with non-techie, sure. And we have some, um, I'm looking for an option. All right, so we have SiteGround. Okay, so let me see if, this one will have an affiliate link. There we go. So SiteGround.com index that HTM half code equal this. So this is the link that you would actually put in the product, guys. Your affiliate link code. Now, whenever someone uses this button and goes to SiteGround, they know that it's from Adam. So when you purchase um, a, um, affiliate hosting from Adam, what is going to happen is that, well, from SiteGround using Adam link, Adam's link, and let's say that you're Adam, the actual company SiteGround is going to know that the sale came from you and they're going to um, assign the actual commission to you. And that's what the affiliate URL looks like. And remember, this is the actual website we were just on, SiteGround.com. It's the same website. It just has the different link, right? So that works out well for us. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail right now because this is an actual build for you guys. It's not something that you're going to use these products. So we've created blog posts. We've added affiliate links to our blog posts. We've looked at the few, a few best practices for blogging. Let me go over them again. Use headings. Use very short paragraphs. Use pictures. Whenever you're adding a link to your blog post, ensure that it reads naturally what you're offering. Ensure that the affiliate product is in line with your offering. So if you're talking about exercise and fitness, don't say, by the way, pick up the, the new PS5 right here at 50% off. Wrong market, guys. You're going to turn people off. All right? So ensure that what you're offering is in line with what you're talking about. And I think that's it for now. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and add the store to the menu. Notice it's not here. We don't have the actual store. All right. So I'm going to go right here. Dashboard. I want to sneeze. I want to sneeze, guys. <laughs> so sorry. This is a live stream. I can't edit it. I sneezed. All right. Bless me. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to appearance menus. All right, guys. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the WooCommerce pages. So they're all right here. So we're going to add the shop page. We're going to add the cart page. We're going to add the checkout page. And we're going to add the my account page. Add to menu. All right. The shop page is going to be right after about. All right. I'm going to rename it gym products. Gym products. All right, guys. I am going to just do that. The cart page is going to be the last thing. Actually, it's going to be under my account and checkout and cart. So, checkout. All right. So, let me see if I want it to be like that. So checkout is going to be on the cart. Cart is going to be on the checkout. Now, whenever I do this, it's going to be a sub menu. All right, you're going to see it very soon. So whenever you go to checkout, you can click down and it's going to show this sub menu. So I'm going to go ahead and add my account here as well. Just for fun. All right, so we're going to save this menu. All right, guys, save. And we're going to this um, visit site. All right, guys, and here we go, home about gym products. Let's go to our actual store, and there we, do, there we go. We have two products right here. You can buy the product, 
and if you go to checkout you see the sub menu you can go to cart you can go to my account and you just no i can't because i'm logged in so i can't really buy the product but that's the general picture behind um, affiliate products on your website in the next tutorial i'm going to try to finish this in two tutorials at most so we have the home page left to do we have the testimonials page left to do matter of fact let me see the testimonials page let me just take a look at that real quickly oh yes yeah, so we need to work on a testimonials page and this looks wonderful I'm gonna keep this format for the testimonials page just a few changes needed right um, we're gonna have we've done the blog page we don't need projects because it's not so much a projects page all right um, we're gonna have the home the testimonials and I don't need services either. So we need to remove services and projects and we work on the home and testimonials page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove those two pages right now. So I, I remember that, hey, we're not using these. So I'm gonna go to appearance again, menus, and for the actual projects and services page, I'm just gonna remove them from the menu. All right, now that they're not there, they're gonna be out of my mind. I'm not gonna be like, oh, all right, so that's good, save menu. And that's that for today, actually, guys. So if you want to learn how to build more websites, like literally, if you have a company that you're starting, you want to know how to build a website for it, you can comment below and say, hey, teach me how to build this website, and I'll make the video. Or you can just have get your website from my company, cyberdreamdevelopers.com. All right? Um, additionally, the files for this website, when it's done, is going to be below. And we post videos daily, so you can like this video if you liked it. You can subscribe if you want more videos. And that's that, all right? So we have the home page left, and we have the testimonials page left. I think I'm gonna show you how to add automatic testimonial submission to your website. What that means is that someone comes to your website, and they can enter the testimonial, and you can approve it later, and then it goes to your website. I'm gonna show you how to do that, guys. So let me show you. Let me show you how that works. Team1design.com. This is my brother's graphics design website. And I, well, I didn't. I wasn't the only one that built it. I built it with him. All right. So it says testimonials. Leave a review. You go ahead here, and what's going to happen is that it's going to say fill out this form. Right. So I'm just going to add all of these. My company is Cyber Dream Developers. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to get this form. And I, I got a logo and I got some business cards. I got a thank you card, I got some business cards and I got a flyer, all right? My company website is this one. The heading, awesome logo, testimonial. This was an awesome logo, I loved it. XD and you go ahead and you submit the testimonial all right so you have to upload a picture I made it that you have to upload a picture of your work guys <laughs> I made that you have to upload a picture of your work and you submit testimonial and that's gonna just remove spam basically so what happens now is that it goes to the back end of this website I'm actually logged in good for me it goes to the back end of this website and then you can go ahead you can look at the website at the testimonial and you can approve it but this isn't my website so I'm not going to go to the back end now this is the the actual portfolio for this website portfolio page all right we can work on it just a bit but actually I don't need to because this is how we loved it right so that's that so we're going to learn how to create that um, this form right here for your business and we're going to finish this website in two episodes so not this website the actual website we're working on so thank you guys for joining us have an awesome day join us tomorrow for episode five we also have the website redesign for cyber dream developers going you can join us for that as well remember subscribe two videos per day most days five times per week